Hey guys, Nick here with TechGore Duo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update Plex manually on your FreeNAS server. So this is a fairly quick method. It will require some command line and shelling into the uh, FreeNAS system. Uh, so I'll show you a quick and simple way to do that. Uh, so first things first, I do have Plex open right now. As you can see, Plex Media Server update is available. Um, downloading now is not going to help you with this. It's going to go ahead and download it to your local computer. So I'll go ahead and show you. I'm going to go to settings here. I'm going to go to server. And it's going to go ahead and tell me that the version is 1.4.4.3495. And if we go to the FreeNAS, so I'm already logged in. I went to the plugins page here. And it's going to go ahead and load all the plugins. You can see here that Plex Media Server is still on version 1.4.4.3495. So if we try to update it from here, it won't work. It's of course the same version. Uh, so what we'll do here is um, go ahead and do it all through the shelling tool. So on the left here, what you want to do is scroll down, click the shell, and it's going to go ahead and load up for you. Um, once it does that, you want to type in JLS, and that's going to come up with the jails that you've created. So uh, right now I have crash plan, um, Plex Media Server, Sick Rage, Transmission. I have not set up the other three yet, but I uh, plan on doing so at some point. Um, so Plex Media Server is jail number two. We're going to go ahead and, of course, memorize that number. Pretty hard, I know. And we're going to go ahead and type in J exec, then the jail number, which is two, and then C CSH. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and type in, we're going to press enter. It's going to go ahead and select that jail. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the, uh, the description below, all the links and, the, uh, and what I used. So here is a link I'm going to be using. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, right. oh, click the paste button right here. Paste. And so it is this right here. Go ahead and click OK. We will then press Enter. It is going to go ahead and download Plex Media Server for us. All right, so then we're going to go into the next step. We're going to go ahead and paste another piece here, which is this right here. Click OK. We will press Enter. We will then type in after this. I can actually just copy paste it. Paste right there. Click OK. Hit Enter again. And now here it goes. So what it's doing is it's taking that script. The script was manually created so that it will download and install it. Uh, we went ahead and just changed some permissions and uh, ran that, that tool. So that's going to go ahead and go through. We will uh, wait for it to finish. And just so you guys know, this can all be done through PuTTY. So if you guys like using PuTTY on your local machine, uh, which is what I normally use, uh, you could go ahead and, and load that up. As long as Shell is enabled on your FreeNAS, you'll be able to log right in and uh, make all the changes from there. So this looks like it's just about done. And it has finished. So we'll go ahead and close this. We will now um, go ahead and wait a minute or so. Let's check our uh, jails here. So it is running, so we are good. We'll go to Plex here. And as you can tell already, it has been updated. And it's up to date, version 1.5.3, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. So now my free NAS server has the most recent updates, and that's it. Have a great day, guys.